Hello beautiful people. In this request video we'll take a look at the American P61C1. Hope you enjoy. Generic Human wrote, make a video on the F82 or P61. I heard they are really good interceptors. For this video I'm picking the P61 since I've had very little game time in the F82 but I'll get to that eventually. Some of the pros for the P61. Decent flight characteristics. The P61 does not have any real bad habits. Top speed at 7100 meters, which is pretty much irrelevant since you will never spend time fighting at that altitude, is almost 700 km an hour. Wing speeds are high with 740 km an hour, but unfortunately the flaps do not follow along. Combat and takeoff flap speeds are low with only 340 km an hour. Your turn time is 25 seconds, which is pretty good for such a large aircraft. You can also whip for longer periods and the engines cool down pretty fast. Impressive armament. You have four 20mm cannons with 800 rounds total. You can use the cannons both for ARB with the HE belt or on ground RB with the AP belt where the shells even at 500 meters can pin 27mm so you can disable or destroy tanks at your battle rating without too much trouble. Good bomb load. You can also carry a bomb load larger than the B25. The B-25 can maximum carry three 1000 pound bombs, while the P-61 can carry four of them. So in ARB you can destroy a base or ground targets or use the bomb load to great effect in ground RB. Armor protection. You have decent armor protection with place protecting the pilot, the gunner and the rear gunner slash radio operator. Diving brakes. You do have diving brakes to help you reduce speeds faster if you need to in a dive or for landing. They are however not very effective. Not nearly as effective as the dive brakes found on dive bombers, so don't expect very sudden drops in speed using them, but of course they're better than nothing. Radar. The radar, if you can figure it out, is best used for either ground RB or in simulator battles. It has limited use in ARB because of the attacks you find on every aircraft. And some of the cons. Large target. You are a large aircraft and perform best at altitude where you can maneuver and use your diving speed offensively and defensively. Close to the ground you will lose that advantage and you are going to be hard pressed in order to win a turn fight against a fighter. Limited turret gun depression. The turret can sadly only depress 3 degrees which is pretty close to zero. It's important that you keep everybody who is on your tail and you will get that often slightly above you where you can use your turret and your massive firepower. If needed, get as low to the ground as possible so it cannot be attacked from below where your turret cannot be used at all. Another aspect of the turret that can spell trouble is that when you have to go to the gunner position, it will take precious seconds for the turret to rotate from the forward firing position 180 degrees so it can use it defensively. And I've been shot down in the time it took the turret to rotate and that is pretty annoying to say the least. Slow acceleration. With a full bomb load, it takes time for you to take off. And also in a dive, it takes longer time for you to pick up speed. But I will say though that in ground RB it's a good thing, since you'll have more time to aim your cannons on ground targets. I wanted to use a minute more specifically to talk about the turret. Now one of the great things about the turret is that you can elevate it 90 degrees upwards. I recently made a video on the original Schrager Musik and in my opinion the best Schrager Musik system you find on the P61. Unlike the original German and Japanese versions, this turret you can actually aim by yourself and you don't get presented with a fixed position that is sometimes disorientating to use. If you have several crews dedicated to aircraft, dedicate the crew who has the most upgraded AI gunners to the P61. And that is because the AI gunner will help you attack any aircraft you attack from the front. That means that you can potentially attack with four 20mm cannons and four heavy machine guns at the same time. In my opinion the best use for the P61 in ARB is going bomber hunting. And it doesn't take many high explosive shells from your four 20mm cannons to decimate any bomber. Another great thing is that the four 20mm cannons are placed in the fuselage in your belly, which also means that you don't have to worry about gun convergence. I know it's a bad habit to play with your food, 
But here you can see how the AI gunner is actually helping me kill the target. And I couldn't help taking over from the AI gunner and have some fun with the turret myself. Okay, over the AO, which we are getting back again. Uh, uh, was there another plane up? No, I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute, yes there is. I know I have a lot of speed on, but... Yep. You're welcome. Attention to the map. Uh, okay, so there's something over there. Uh, still have one bomb drop left, then a bunch of 20 millimeter guns, cannons, cannons, and and, and some rounds. Uh, I still see the dot, I think. Kill assist on I don't know what. Is that an M4 or something? What is that? Ah, uh, KV2. And that's a BTR. Oh, okay. CW got him. Let's see. Okay, that's not a KV-2. Drop. Nice. Uh, okay. Well, so far I've had a pretty damn good run. Still a couple of people left. There was a. Yep, yep, KV2, and then whatever that is. Is that a BTR? Somebody's upset. I'm not sure where that was from. Okay. Is that a plane up or a smudge on my screen? Smuts. That was just smuts. It's 
CW is maybe... Is he, does he find him? Oh, I see it. Okay, somebody's upset. Yay! Okay. I think we are taking the point, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, something over there. Which I lost again. Where he is. So he's gonna come out on this side of the building. Ah, uh, no, they're not gonna hit anything. That was my bad. Sounds like there's somebody up there. Or behind me, but... Oh, okay. Yep. So... Why did that guy not die? Ah, yeah, I thought so, but figures. Oh, great, and I got team killed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. So we are over Berlin in this lovely weather, and uh, yeah, this is going to be rough to be able to see anything here. Wow, and planes and everything is going to be super difficult to spot. Well, that's a fighter who likes to, uh, was that a bomber? It might be a bomber. I think it is. So should I just... Uh, I'm not sure what he's doing. Well, it could have gone both ways. Oh, look at that. It's very pretty. Okay. Attention to the map. So let's try. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna. I'm not gonna overshoot, but might as well just try. No, 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 I didn't. I surprised I got that guy. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, there we go. Right there, yes. Ooh. Uh, that was pretty. I'm glad I have so much escape velocity in this guy. There you go, Spook. Good job. Ooh, boom. Wow. PA just took care of... Uh, AR2, which is such a great little bomber, took care of one. And then the PA took care of three. I'm pretty sure they're already saying, Screw this game. So... Did you get him? Yeah, I can't see anything. Seriously, I, I can barely see anything.
What is that? Something that's close. Well, I need to get. Oh, damn it. Ooh, wow, what? What? Why did he turn away? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't do this. Oh, <laughs> well, that was something else. Come on, come on, come on, go on. Yeah, oh, I can't even see him. No, that was fun though. So the P61 is definitely great both for bomber hunting in an RB and for ground attack in, well, ground RB. That was it for this video. If you liked it and you like the content in general on the channel, please do me a favor and subscribe, like or comment. I have added some links in the video description below, both for all the relevant videos on the channel, but also for other ways for you guys to support the channel if you wish to do so. Thank you for watching and until next time, remember to deploy your die breaks. Have a good one.